This may not be the news we wanted. Oh, we have most help! Reggie Fisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the epic news we got a couple of dope news items for this video first give the video a thumbs up like 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 let's get it over 300 likes all right the first news item is a doozy the director and platinum games co-founder Hideki Kamiya, he was recently interviewed by VGC and Bayonetta 3 came up and the news outlets pretty flat out asked him, when are we going to get an update, more information on Bayonetta 3 and his response was not what gamers wanted. He said, and I quote, reset and forget about it. <laughs> Man, that means an announcement isn't going to be anytime soon. Don't hold your breath. Now, to be fair, to put his full response in context, he was saying to forget about it and so that you can be surprised when an update or announcement finally happens. Nevertheless, his response did heavily indicate that we're not going to get anything in February, March, or April. Next three months, you could probably forget about it. Based on his response, who knows? Nintendo might give him a call and be like, hey, we need a trailer. We need something. We need um, 10 seconds of gameplay. We need a tease. And booyah, we get some Bayonetta 3 news. But just going based off of his response, he said, and I quote, forget about it. He said to forget about Bayonetta 3 for now. So let's just play out Mario 3D World, Bravely Default 2, um, um, what else, Monster Hunter Rises. Let's just play these games and then, oh, Bayonetta 3 trailer, and we'll be surprised. So he's saying forget about it, but we can't. It's hard to forget, but I can't wait to see what this game is going to look like on the Switch. Bayonetta 2 was fire on the Wii U. We know the Switch is a more capable console than the Wii U, so the game should look better. Uh, the game looked good on the Wii U, bro. I was surprised at what um, Platinum Games was able to do on that Wii U. And so I know Bayonetta 3 is going to be amazing. Boss battles, the set pieces, going to be a dope, dope, dope game. But Hideki Kamiya says, forget about it, fans. Forget about Bayonetta 3 for now and play your Mario 3D World. All right. Next news item still talking speaking of platinum games um platinum says check this news item out can, when it refers to astral chains platinum is saying astral chain is in fact now a nintendo ip after fans noticed a copyright change all right previously uh, the, the developer said that they partly owned um, the plat um, Astral, Chains, Astral Chains for the Switch, but now things have changed behind the scenes and now Astral Chain is a 100% Nintendo IP. This is one of the games that I sort of wish I played. I probably will go back to it. I don't know, nothing about it really captivated me, pulled me in. It does look good. It does look pretty good. But I think I was, I was playing through my PlayStation backlog when this game came out. I may get around to it sometime this year as I um, go through my Nintendo backlog, some of the games that I still need to play. But this is, you know what this has me thinking? I think we probably need at least a sequel before we get an Astral Chain Smash Fighter. Get the series a little bit more popular. Um, even though I think the, um, the, the game did sell good on the Switch because every, <coughs> especially exclusive on the Switch sells good. Um, but 
It's now a Nintendo IP. We'll probably get one of the Astro Fighters in Super Smash Brothers. Anything is possible now. But Astro Chain is now a Nintendo IP. Next news item. And this one is pretty dope. And I'm happy for this game. I always root for the little guys. Sometimes. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Just, it's just been announced that the game has shipped. Um, it, it surpassed 850,000 um, digital and physical console, um, consoles, games. And this is what it says. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin shipments and digital sales have surpassed 850,000. Thousand and this looks like a cool um, 2D action. I don't know what to how to describe it, but the game looks dope. This is one of those games where I wish I sort of low key played. Um, I probably will still get around to it, but check out this gameplay, man. Uh, the art style looks dope. Um, just looks like a solid, solid, solid game. And it's good to see that the game is selling good. I suggest y'all go check this game out. Check out some of the reviews on this game. But it looks like a well-polished, dope, dope, dope game. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. And seems to be selling pretty good on the Switch. All right. Um, because the game just, it's only been out for like two months now. Uh, came out um, a big, a begin, at the beginning of November, big uh, mid-November. But it's selling good. All right, bro. This next news item is pretty, pretty dope. Immortals Phoenix Rising, a demo, is now available on the Switch. If you are on the fence of getting this game, uh, now you can actually check out a demo to try the game out for yourself. Usually when demos um, uh, are on the Switch, um, are on the eShop, the developers are calm, confident in the quality of the game. I'm hearing that this game is a mix if Assassin's Creed and Zelda had a baby. That's what, I'm, that's what they're saying this game is like. So, Immortals Phoenix Rising, the demo is now available on the Switch. Go and check it out. And... The last news item for this video, and this one's pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty dope, especially if you're into old school side scrolling um, beat em ups. R Type 2, um, the launch date has been confirmed for the Switch, launching in April, confirmed for an April launch in the West, specifically April. 30th let's show some gameplay April 30th of um, our type 2 side scrolling um, beat em up game uh, shoot em up this our type on the Super Nintendo was huge bro and this game actually looks good man looks good so keep this game on your radar if you're in between big games and you want something smaller to play our type 2 there you go with the April 30th launch date all right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Bayonetta, your hair is in my way. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh,